All right, hello and welcome. So this is a Saturday and I'm just gonna try to use Ludus to install SCCM, which is a pretty heavy application to uh, install. So what's cool though, is there's a person out there that went ahead and they created a Ludus SCCM role. So we'll use that. But first and foremost, uh, with Ludus, when you go to the docs, you go to quick start and install. You got to make sure that the CPU is has a good pass mark score, that you have a good amount of RAM, uh, you've got you know high power NVMe, and you're directly connected uh, with an Ethernet cable to the device. So the device that I use is actually this one. This is what's recommended and what I will show here in the Discord. So here it is um, uh, with uh, the specs right here. So if you want to pick up your own, uh, these are the specs that actually do this. So it's hard to see, but right here it has 52 VMs running. So that's pretty cool with the memory that has you know, 96 gigs of RAM at 80%, 6% storage, and that's it's pretty big storage, two terabytes and then only 13% CPU. So look at all those VMs. That is awesome. So highly, highly recommend getting the GMK Tech K8. So without further ado, we will go ahead and try to install the role. So back to the role here. Here it is, Ludus, fantastic. Then let's go ahead and get to it. So uh, using the client on the Windows box, so I'll just open up my Linux right here. Um, I checked my client and my server, but hang on. Let me, um, let's do this right here. We'll just SSH to it. All right, so as you can see, my Ludus box is at version 152. I also put my GMK Tech K specs here, what I'm using, uh, 96 gigs of RAM, my Crucial uh, SSD NVMe, all the good stuff, and my benchmark for my CPU. Great, so let's go ahead and Go to root. All right, so I'm going to make sure that we're updated here first and foremost. So how I do that is this curl command, which you can find when you install here down below the screenshot. Uh, this is the curl command. So we'll go ahead and use that here. All right. So it looks like, what would you like to do? Update the Ludus server? Uh, yeah, I guess if it's, uh, it needs to be updated. So let's do it. All right. It did. So it looks like it, it, it is now three. So that's good. Great. All right. Well, now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and make a user. So to do that, we need to do, we need to have the root key. So We'll go ahead and make this bigger and just do Ludus install status. There's our root key. So I'll copy that root key. And then go ahead and pull up another area here. It's kind of my notes area. So I'll just put it right here on the side. So on the notes area, I've got this whole big command, which if you go back here and you go to create users, that command is right here. So you can easily just copy that command. Um, so what I'll do is I have that command here. I already have my root uh, key put in here and, and I named it SCCM1 and with the user ID SCCF1. So 
I'm going to go ahead, copy this, go back here, paste it in, watch it go in real time. Let me quit out of that. So nothing pops up while we're doing this deal. So while this is going on, we'll go back to this area. So once this creates, we're going to have to export the key. All right, so it looks like it gave me the key. So I will grab that key and then just put export uh, Ludus API key equals this. All right, so that's done. Now we can do like, um, let's see. Let's see what my uh, list of things to do. So we can, we did the export. We can see if we have the collections or add the collections. I'm actually, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and see about adding it. So if I paste this in, all right, it says it added it successfully. It's fantastic. Let's do the next thing. We could look at the collection list and see <clears throat> what's all on here. So there it is, the version as well. All right, so let's see here. So uh, SCCM, let's see. Uh, let's get out of this directory and let's go into our new SCCM1 directory where there's nothing in there. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. So let's back up. Let me go back into server admin and let's go ahead and find the GitHub and see what's next. So we did this piece and here is an example config. So we'll take that config and we will call it SCM range config, maybe, maybe SCCM one. How about that? Yeah, let's do that. So nano SCCM one range config dot yaml. And then we'll just paste in that config. Then we'll do the Lutus range config set f SCCM one tab complete. No, didn't tab complete. Um, oh, cause I spelled SCCM wrong. Um, S S C M. Okay. Whatever. Um, what is going on? And then I can't even spell range. Jeez. All sorts of, interesting deals. Okay, so my config is set. So let's go ahead and do a Lutus deploy, range deploy, just like the instructions over here, most likely. Yep, great. Um, yeah, we're not gonna do this by source stuff. Yeah, let me go back here and we'll just deploy. All right, range started. So if I go to the GUI um, and do a refresh and where's SCCM1? SCCM, um, oh, here it is. Hmm. Well, let's check the logs. 
Well, let's first do a status. Uh, deployment status error. That is not good. Unreachable. Why is it trying to do JM? Mm. So if you do. Oh, it says JM. That's not good. Um, what happened? Did I not export? Did I not? I did not do this. <laughs> awesome. Um, so if we go up here. What? Um, I did all this. And then I just jumped directly here. No, but I made the... What? Uh, I feel like... No. Um... <laughs> Great. Uh, so let's do something else. Uh, Ludus range. Wait, Ludus uh, user. Um, API key. Uh, get user sccm one. So this is going to give me the right context. Unknown get. So if I go this, 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 and then press enter. Oh, OK. No, we do not want to do this. Oh, jeez. Um, so apparently I have not made the user. So that's what I get for speeding ahead. But I did do the user because that's why we have a thing. Oh my gosh, I'm so upset. Um, API key user. Uh, SCC one. Yes. Oh, flailing. All right. So here we go. Um, my goodness. I should just follow my instructions. All right. So let's do that. Okay. Cool. Um, let's go back to setting this config. Although. Let's make things right. So move SS to SCCM one range config dot YAML. Okay. So now we'll do Ludus range config set F SCC. And one, there we go. Great, um, but we need to most likely put the Ansible role under this user. Mm, collection already installed, collection from, okay. So sure, great. So Ludus range deploy. 
And we'll go back up here and <laughs> looks like it's actually going this time. My goodness. All right, well, I'm gonna pause this because this takes probably two to three hours to deploy. So we'll be back. All right, we're back and it looks like it's 11.31 is the time we're back. Uh, it started at 9.44. Um, I think it completed a little before this time. So the command here is Ludus range status to give you the status. So there's the status success. We're good there. And then let's pull up the GUI. Here it is. And here's SCCM management, but let's, we need WireGuard and all that kind of stuff. So like if we do um, Ludus user, wire guard then we get the wire guard so let's copy this put it into a file new file sccm1.conf and we'll just call that that paste it in here do a save find wire guard add the tunnel here it is, added, activate it, reactivated, that's great. And now let's get some RDP things. So S, uh, Ludus range RDP. So this will give you all the RDP files, and then you can import it into your favorite remote desktop management software. So I'm just going to uh, put it in here really quick. And I'm going to just add a folder. And then in that folder, I'm just going to add this. I'm not going to go through the, the actual way. So SCCM config. And then we're going to use uh, the host name is something, but we're going to use the domain admin, domain admin, and domain ludus, and I believe it's just password for the password. And let's see here 10, 15, 10, 14. 10, 15, 10, 14. Fifteen, ten, fourteen. 10, 15, 10, 14. Okay, I'll add that and we'll go to it. And it looks like we're accessing it. All right, I'm back, I figured it out. So basically you need to be on the SCCM site server to access the GUI. So as the domain admin, and this is the server host name. So basically, once you're here, drop down to here, configuration management. Here we are. Let's see here. Um, let's go devices. And here's the workstation. Um, yeah, looks like we're good. All right, with that, uh, have fun with the SCCM role.